I just want to get a shot of the room, the wall. Wow. And this is what you pay rent for? Yes. Yeah, yes. Or would you? Yes. This is what they call. What they back. expect you to what pay rent for? What they expect you to pay for this? That's right. Yeah, it's filthy, dirty. Yeah, very filthy. As you can tell, they have not been painted in a long, long time. This is the bathroom, and here is the, uh, the bathroom sink. I've been trying to get housing to come in and do this for uh, since 2007, um, and they failed to do so. I put in work orders with them, and they just ignore ignore the problem. Uh, also, also, uh, my toilet. Uh, doesn't flush the pressure of it. it doesn't go down I would have to hold hold the, the pressure down and let it build up before the toilet actually uh, flushes as you see I'm trying to flush it now mm -hmm. and it takes a number of times uh, for the pressure to build up before I can actually flush it. And how long has it been like that? Uh, this has been like this for about a, a year or so. And I've been putting work orders in and housing has not answered uh, those work orders to come and do this. I spoke to the manager uh, directly and he said that he'll come and have it done personally but nothing happened. What about the bedroom? Yeah, I'm talking about the bedbugs, yeah. You're ordering the bedbugs, you say you'll deal with person. As you can see, the toilet still hasn't flushed down. It has to build up uh, pressure. It still hasn't uh, flushed all over the <clears throat> I'm just going up close on the sink again. And how long have you said that the sink has been like this? Uh, the sink has been like this for maybe about a year. I've been putting in work orders, I've been asking the manager to get somebody to come over here and fix it, and they just, just ignore my, my, my request. And, your, and so your bucket has basically been... It's full. I have to keep putting the bucket under there so it can catch the water. As you see, it's filled up. Okay, this toilet uh, is still ain't flushing yet. I have to wait till, it, till the pressure builds up and then hit it again, and then it will go down. Okay. I have to dump the bucket to a certain uh, point when it gets pretty much halfway, and then I'll slide the bucket out, being very careful that none of the water spills on the floor. And I now have to dump it into the toilet like this. I go in and wash the bucket out, fill it halfway up, rinse it out, make sure I got all the pretty much all the residue and the bacteria out of it. Now, if you were to turn that water on, yes. how bad does it pour down? If you were to turn the water on in your faucet. Can you take a picture of that? Oh yeah, oh I see this, whoa. Now how bad is that? It's going to look like living now. And it's been like this for how long? Oh, well, yeah. And I brought this to the to manager's attention. I'm going to put the bucket back under now, right? Yeah, hold on a second. Let me just get one more good shot. That's how it... I thought you were just going to show me a little leak. I thought that the bucket had to be sitting under there like months before it to fill up like that. Whoa. And I got to mop this water so that it doesn't flood or get down in anyone else's apartment. Right. This will create a flood. And you can back under now? Okay, yeah. You get mouth itself, mouth itself, you come moving. The mouth itself is come moving. And that's, and as far as getting the air, it makes you sick. This is an EPA issue. And this is the government owned property. Absolutely. And you... And when you go to the council, when you go to the council's office, well, as soon as off, you can't get no help. There's no authority whatsoever to do anything. Everybody just passing the buck. So what are people paying their tax money for? The reason why they pay their tax money, tax money because they're educated to be ignorant.
on what their responsibilities is. My responsibility is to make sure our money works for us at all times, since they take it out anyway, 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 without our consent. It's called taxation, not representation. That's what we're going through. This is broken. See how loose it is? And this actually uh, comes up. It usually just falls right off. It's just sticking. I don't know why. But this, this comes all the way up. But, um, this is pretty much in, in the kitchen area. That's pretty much this is the, this is the door oh. uh, right here for the closet. And it just came right off the, off the hinge area. So I flip that, flip that switch up by the door right there, that door light switch right there. So flip that up. Yeah, yeah flip that up. <coughs> Excuse me one minute. Sure. Is it something? This is on what makes everybody act like animals. This started, this started getting worse around 2002. Right. And around 2002, Housing Authority said with all their memos and what have you, that in 2002, that they were going to give everybody security. Security going through all the buildings, and that they was also had programs for people to help people pay their rent, which was nothing new because they started cutting back since 19, 1990. Cutting back, taking billions of dollars out of housing. And then they've been doing it ever since, cutting. Then by 19, 2002, they started cutting out more money, but here's the trick. They, during an election in Newark, New Jersey, between Cory Booker and Sharp James, was calling each other gay and all that nonsense, which I don't know what that's all about. Bottom line is that housing was also supposed to make sure that everybody had security, make sure everybody had some money to help them out, you know, keep their apartments, and also fix up the place. And then when they failed to do that, that's when everything got running down by 2005. <coughs> 2006, uh, mm -hmm. we've been working on trying to get things done in this area Hyatt, between Hyatt Court and South Boy. There's two areas, East Ward and South Ward. Oh, this is a tremendous thing on that door right there. Hold on one second a minute. I just happened to be noticing the very powerful message on this mm -hmm. abandoned door. It says right here, Deep Thought. I just want to be loved. I'm tired of being alone. I want someone to love me and care about for who I am and for who I could be given the right chance. That's Absolutely. deep. Absolutely. That's really deep. Decent and affordable housing is a human right to which all human beings are entitled. What does it say about a country that spends over a billion dollars a day on war while creating such impoverished living conditions such as the ones at Seth Boyden? We must organize to let this government know that this is no longer acceptable. Our tax dollars should be for building the quality of life and not for destroying it through wars and capitalism. Please start by calling the Newark Housing Authority to express your outrage and by organizing against such injustices block by block in your communities.